Welcome to day 17 of my 30 day security challenge. It's the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along with the security challenge via my blog at snubsy.com where you can skip ahead or download a checklist of the challenge. Each video is also curated into a playlist so it'll be real easy to follow along from day one all the way through 30 here on YouTube. Today we are going to audit our friends list. There are a few major reasons for calling your friends list down to a minimum of people that you can trust. And that main reason is for your privacy. We all know that you should not friend people on Facebook, for example, that you don't personally know. But what about those people that you've met in passing? Convention acquaintances, old friends from high school that you haven't talked to in years, old coworkers, friends of friends, that person that you met at a bar once. The question you should ask yourself is, can I trust this person to respect my privacy? If you don't know them well enough to answer that question, then you may want to lean on the side of privacy. People could get hacked, they could send out spammy links, or their own privacy settings may be set incorrectly, which could affect your own security on a social network, most notably being Facebook. Another reason to call your friends list is for your own sanity. Facebook is super time consuming and can be a constant stress factor. Completely calling that list down to a minimum will not only make your account more secure, but it will also save you a lot of time each day so you can simply focus on the people that matter most to you instead of hundreds of acquaintances. But before you dive in and just start deleting everyone, choose how you want to go about the process. Do you want to make it a family only environment, a place for colleagues at work as well? What is your preference? Stick with it so if anyone asks, you can tell them why you are calling your friends list. It may be because Facebook is becoming too overwhelming for me, or I wanted a place that is private for my closest relatives, etc. Coming up with a reason is important, especially if you think anyone might message you asking you why you unfriended them. Having a reason will keep you and that acquaintance in good graces. That is, if you care to keep them in good graces. So now that you've got a reason for removing folks, you can choose to either announce it on your profile, directly message them, or keep it in a private manner. Social networks, Facebook specifically, don't tell folks that you unfriended them, so they won't know unless they visit your profile page. It's the same thing with Twitter. Ask yourself, how often do I visit this person's profile page? Is it never? Chances are it's the same vice versa. So go to your profile page and click on friends. There is a little pencil that lets you edit the privacy of who can see your friends list, who can see who follows you, and who can see stuff that you follow. I have all of mine set to only me, which is the most private option. These options are pretty self-explanatory as well. Scroll down on your friends page and start calling. Hover over the friends button next to their name to unfriend them or add them to a list. Later on, you can customize lists so only certain people see certain things. When you click on unfriend, you'll see a blue button appear that says add friend. So if you made a mistake, you can always add them back super easy. I suggest auditing your friends list once a year to keep your Facebook list to a minimum. Relationships and friendships change over time and given how much information folks put on social networks, it's a really good idea to keep your eye on who you are sharing that information with. Now, while I focused on Facebook for today's video, you can use these same techniques on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and more, especially if you have private or protected accounts on these networks. And a pro tip, if you can live without the social network, just delete your account completely using the justdelete.me site guide. Your friends will understand. It'll be okay. You can still call them if you really want to. Day 17 is now complete. Tomorrow is all about editing your third party app permission missions. Yep, that's right. But first, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com. And until then, I'm Shannon Morse, and I will see you tomorrow for day 18.